Hello, people of Holy Cross. Pastor Nathan Hilker here. Welcome to a weekly word with Pastor Nate. This is my chance to connect with each one of you to let you know what's happening in the life of our congregation and also to invite you to reflect with me on this next week's upcoming gospel lesson. I want to remind you that uh, next uh, Wednesday, the 17th of November, we'll be having our mobile food pantry at Holy Cross. That'll begin at 4 o'clock p.m. And uh, we need folks to help uh, box food up, folks to uh, help set up, uh, folks to help place those boxes of food in people's trunks, and to help direct traffic. So uh, let me know if you'd like to know more, and I'd be happy to pass you along more information. But we'd love to see you next Wednesday at our mobile food pantry at Holy Cross. Also want to remind you that uh, November begins with All Saints Sunday, but by the last Sunday in November, we enter into Advent. And so the season of Advent will see us worship on Sundays like always, uh, but we will also meet on Wednesdays. We'll meet on Wednesdays at noon and at 6.30 p.m. for a uh, Advent worship. We'll worship on December the 1st, December the 8th, and December the 15th. And our spiritual theme as we're going through those midweek Advent Wednesdays is lament. Lament as a Christian practice. It's a practice we sometimes forget or that we demote as some kind of sub-Christian practice. But anybody who's read through the Psalms and... Uh, the, the whole of Scripture really knows that lament is an important part of the Christian life. Last but not least, I want to say thank you to everybody who's pledged thus far to help support Holy Cross's mission and ministry in 2022. Uh, so far, we have 65 pledges for a total amount of $331,000. That's $34,000 more than we had last year from 65 pledges. So thanks for your support again, which is vital for our church in continuing our, continuing our mission of connecting with God and connecting with other people and making a difference in Jesus' name. Thanks to your generosity, we'll be able to do more ministry to form faith in our children and in our youth. We'll continue to offer worship that can be accessed by all people, and will continue to provide a safe and useful space in Athens, both for our ministry and for outside groups uh, that are doing worthwhile work in Athens to meet each week. So thanks for your generosity. As we look ahead to this next Sunday, which is the 25th Sunday after Pentecost, our lesson is from Mark chapter 13, verses 1 through 8. And there's this interesting shift that we see in the Sundays leading up to Advent, those Sundays between All Saints and Advent. We see these apocalyptic passages. And Jesus is coming out of the temple uh, in our lesson for this next week and, and foretells the destruction of the temple. And he talks about the disaster that will come upon the earth in the end days. And Jesus ends with this verse that to me is the key verse of our passage. When he talks about all this coming destruction, he says, These will be but the beginning of the birth pangs. Now, I've never given birth, obviously, uh, but I've been present for the birth of all of my children. And if you know anything about our family, you know that my middle daughter, Lucy, was born in the car. And that was a harrowing experience for us. But really, any birth, any birth, the, the process of childbirth is a, a harrowing process, especially for the, the women who do give birth. Uh, but we also know that at the end of that harrowing and painful process, there is this beautiful new life. And I think sometimes we Christians, we people of faith, misinterpret these apocalyptic passages in the scriptures uh, as talking solely about death and destruction and the upending of everything that we know. It is that for sure, but 
on the other side of this process of apocalypse, which literally means unveiling, uh, there is the beautiful new creation that God is bringing into reality. So we as Christians, we are both, uh, we look forward in, in, in trepidation. Uh, we stay awake out of uh, alertness and awareness of, uh, of, of danger, but we also do so out of longing and hope for the good things that God promises to bring. Let's pray together. Almighty God, your sovereign purpose brings salvation to birth. Give us faith to be steadfast amid the tumults of this world, trusting that your kingdom comes and your will is done through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Thanks again, folks. And if you haven't yet submitted a pledge, I hope you will do so. You can just go to our website, holycrossathens.com, and easily and securely submit a pledge online. God bless you, and I'll see you Sunday.